I'm Sally. I'm the author of Octopus Encounter. Hi, I'm Clyde. I'm the videographer. Hi, I'm Reggie. I'm the photographer. Come on, let's go diving. In Chapter 10, Susan and Eric dive the wall several times. That last morning, they head out to snorkel right in front of the cottage. They see a manta ray, and Susan realizes that she isn't afraid. Mantas don't hurt divers. Her knowledge changes her reaction to the ray. Her increased knowledge of God is helping her to trust Him. Clyde, let's do something different with this video segment. Let's take the young people on a real journey, starting from the shore, passing over the reef, clear out to the wall. I think that way they can see what it would be like. Sally, that is a great idea. We could stop along the way just like we do in a real dive and check out the creatures that live in the different habitats. Okay, but let's start at the very beginning. Before we dive, we gather our gear and then we check each piece. That's important because we don't want to abort a dive in the middle because of a malfunction or because we forgot a piece of gear. That's for sure. Hey, look at that water. It's as clear as glass. Wow, that water is a diver's dream. Especially a diver who isn't taking a boat out to the dive site like we aren't, but a diver who's going to swim all the way out. Let's get in. The water's deep enough. Let's descend now. Okay, here we go. We're changing worlds from dry to wet. Everything looks still and a bit gloomy down here. I think some of the clouds have passed over the sun. It dims the light that enters the sea. Look at all these little sea fans. Eventually a reef could build up here. I'm sure it will. Hey look, that's the first patch of reef I've seen. Let's go see who lives there. It's amazing that when one sea fan glues itself down and begins to grow, other critters join in. Look at this yellow tube sponge. It's perfect. Hey, what's that fish? It's flat on the bottom. Shh. I want to see how close I can get to him. I think it's a smooth trunk fish. Wow, Sally. The reef is beautiful this morning. Hey Sally, come look at what I found. Oh, that's a yellow stingray. Ew, what do you feel like? He is so soft. Oh look, I found a hermit crab. His house has a back door. Careful, Sally. He looks so tender. There goes a group of goatfish. Wow, let's follow them. I wonder where they're going. They look like they're heading out toward the wall. Well, that's our direction. Let's go. Hey, Clyde, come over here. Look, look. What? What? There's two of them. I can't believe it. They're so what gorgeous. Are they? They're spotted eagle rays. You've got to be kidding. 
Oh, wow. We seldom get to see these. Oh, they disappeared way too soon. Let's get going. Let's get out to the wall. Okay. It's getting kind of dark. Hey, Sally. What's below you there? I don't know, but where's the reef going? I can't see any reef ahead of me. Clyde, where are you going? Well, it looks like a reef head, but... But... What is it? Oh, wow. <gasps> wow. Clyde? What? There could be 6,000 feet of water under us. Wow. What? This has been an incredible experience. Yes. We will never be the same again. <laughs>